You won't believe what disgusting illegal aliens are demanding U.S. taxpayers give them now. It seems like the logical thing for those who are breaking the law to try and hide their transgressions in order to avoid punishment. Unfortunately, the United States has, under the leadership of Obama, adopted such lenient and even rewarding policies for illegal immigrants that they've been apt to put their status out in the open in the hopes of getting a pat on the back. Not only are the illegals living outside of our laws here in the U.S., they're using their status to get everything from free food to free education and getting more demanding by the day. In what is possibly the most ridiculous of the unending barrage of ridiculous ultimatums from illegals, the out in the open, loud, and proud illegals that attend Columbia University have released a list of demands pointed toward the university, asking that they give them lots of free stuff and protect them from the government, among other things. Lest you think I'm exaggerating, here's a little rundown of what they're asking the Ivy Leagues for. Via the blaze a group of undocumented immigrants at Columbia University in New York City is demanding concessions from their Ivy League school. The group, known as the Undocumented Students Initiative or UNDUCU, released a list of 13 demands last week that include things like increased protection from federal authorities who might want to deport them, subsidized summer housing, full reimbursement of health care fees, specialized fundraising, counseling and sensitivity training for all Columbia faculty, along with other demands. We refuse to amend or change any of these demands, the group wrote in a Facebook post last week. We expect the university to act. Reflections and renewed demands, by Undo CU, this past year, the year of Undaka's conception, we have consistently faced issues and problems that the university has, at best, responded to sparingly. Our daily lived experiences are shaped by national and federal forces that we must face with bravery but the collective university administration's inaction has worsened these issues. Some of us were on the verge of homelessness. Some, including their families, are at high risk of deportation. That the university is not active in aiding and ameliorating these problems demonstrates Columbia's lack of intrinsic interest in its undocumented students. We therefore present this list of demands upon which we expect the university to act. We are willing to work with anyone, to any extent in order to resolve these issues. We refuse, however, to amend or change any of these demands. Specificities of the Provost Statement It is important to know that we are already facing many similar issues, even with DACA, and have been since before the election. We are still unclear about stipulations and implications of implementing what was promised in Provost Coatsworth Statement. Those of us who are non-CC slash C students must be given the same treatment as undergraduate students. We understand the policies and structure of the schools, but in practice and on paper the unequal effects are clear and unacceptable. In the event of our DACA being revoked, how will the university help us cope with our legal working rights being taken away? How will the university help with our inability to pay tuition or housing? In all possible senses, how will the university provide the proper support that will allow us to thrive as students and contributing members of our university community? Financial and housing difficulties While some have been granted summer housing, others have not, and the summer housing process has been shifty, disorganized, and unproactive. For instance, several students from CC slash Cs received emergency housing, but GS students who were under similar circumstances were denied. Reaching out to slash protecting undocumented students How can administration contact and keep in touch with undocumented students without a record of students that the administration may be in the future be forced to relinquish to federal authorities? International student designation We are international students only by technical designation, so we are all subject to pay the semesterly $70 international services fee. Further, Classifying us as international students puts us at risk of having our information exposed to homeland security. We want the university to respect and recognize us as domestic students, be clear about the implications of our student status, and have these fee charges refunded to us. We also demand full reimbursement of the health insurance fees. ISSO refunded portions of these fees but the calculations are inaccurate and leaves graduating students with exorbitant amounts of account balances which potentially hinders their request for academic transcripts and degrees. Creation of an ombudsperson position who understands the psychological, financial, administrative, and all other dimensions of the undocumented student issue and experience. 
specialized fundraising for undocumented students we want the university as a whole and individual schools to raise funding to specifically support undocumented students in both undergrad and grad schools with the objective of creating undocumented student specific scholarships and grants need-based funding must be available for undocumented students at all columbia university and affiliate schools Inclusion in the undocumented student working group in the past year there has been a lack of transparency for the working group. The students selected by Excel Rossell were graduating this year and therefore leaving undue CU disproportionately represented. We demand that members of UNDACU, both undergrad and grad, should be present at working group meetings. We demand for faculty representation selected by members of UNDACU to be present in the working group meetings. CPS Counseling Services Training We want more experienced counselors in immigration available at CPS as well as a variance of options. We want specifically trained immigration counselors as well as counselors trained in trauma. Additionally, we would like treatment to be less medically focused. Currently, some of our experiences with CPS have alienated us from continuing to seek mental health resources. CCE training We demand awareness training of CCE career counselors who understand our unique situation and the sensitive attention it demands. Sensitivity training for faculty and staff During the spring semester we published an op-ed in the Columbia Spectator asking that the university provide sensitivity training for professors, TA, and all other staff in terms of immigration language and rhetoric. Much like sexual health training, it is imperative that immigration subjects be treated with the proper language and information. It is unacceptable for students to be called illegal in their own classrooms or for professors to tell us to get legal. Signed, Undo CU, Undocumented Students Initiative. To begin, the group demands clarification in the university's policies toward its undocumented students, should they have their deferred action for childhood arrivals or DACA status revoked. How will the university help us cope with our legal working rights being taken away? How will the university help with our inability to pay tuition or housing, the group wrote. In all possible senses, how will the university provide the proper support that will allow us to thrive as students and contributing members of our university community? Concerning health care fees, campus reform notes that like almost every American college, Columbia requires its students to have health insurance or pay a fee to get insurance through the school. The undocumented students, however, are not happy they have to pay the fee. We also demand full reimbursement of the health insurance fees, the group wrote, adding the school refunded portions of these fees, but the calculations are inaccurate and leaves graduating students with exorbitant amounts of account balances which potentially hinders their request for academic transcripts and degrees. The group also explained they want the university to protect them from federal immigration authorities. How can administration contact and keep in touch with undocumented students without a record of students that the administration may be in the future be forced to relinquish to federal authorities, they wrote. It must be noted that the list of demands comes as the majority of undocumented students attending Columbia likely already attend the school with their tuition and room and board being paid for. That's because, like other Ivy League schools, Columbia allows students whose families earn a relatively low-level income to attend for practically nothing. The undocumented student group was created last year around the time that Trump won November's presidential election. The list of demands may seem surprising, but in 2017 predominantly liberal and progressive students across the nation are feeling emboldened to demand concessions and changes from their administrations. A Columbia spokesman did not immediately return a request for comment from the blaze. I've just got to say, using 13 demands seems a little on the nose. Also. They have no rights. Well, I take that back. They have the right to a salve share with other illegals, to shower and pee in front of a room full of people and then a one way, all expense paid ticket back to whatever godforsaken country spawned them. It's unbelievable that there are people, let alone illegals, who think that the world owes them food, housing, health care, and education at someone else's expense. That's not it even addressing their asking to be sheltered from the repercussions of the crimes that you've committed. This would probably still be something that would be noteworthy if these were just legal citizens who decided that their whims should be catered to by a university that is considered one of the most outstanding in the nation. However, when you add to the mix that these are people who have no legal right to live here, study here, or even breath the free air of the United States, it takes on a whole new level of crazy. Source, The Blaze, 
Share this if you think that illegals deserve deportation and nothing else. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.